Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Dylan here. We have an incredible update today from Sarah Huckabee Sanders that I'm so excited to share with you guys. She just arrived at the Republican National Convention and she's about to give her speech, her official speech, and I'm ecstatic to share with you guys some news from Donald John Trump as well. So before we jump in, my friends, we are going to read the Bible because God comes first. Amen? Comment amen down below if you believe that God comes first. And I think God performed a miracle and he saved Trump's life. I just watched this video, this uh, kind of this technology breakdown video where Trump literally it showed the bullet whizzing past his ear it, they, the guy had a, a bullseye on trump and trump moved his head at the last second and i think god saved his life that day okay let's read psalm 23 let's pray read the bible and then jump into the video okay all right here's psalm 23 guys let's close our eyes or open your arms or just listen the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for the sake of his name. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Comment amen down below if you believe that, that God is good, and we do not need to fear any evil. And I can't help but to think of Donald Trump when I read this Bible reading, because it says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. And Donald John Trump literally did walk through the valley of the shadow of death that day. He had a gun pointed at his head. Can you believe that, guys? Someone had a gun pointed at Trump's head. And he dodged, he dodged death. But it says in scripture, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. You are with me, God. And God is with all of us today. And I, I like to think that because Trump calls out to God so frequently. We see Trump praise the Lord in so many different ways and times. I think maybe God was watching over, or maybe there was an angel, a guardian angel, who knows? But I think that was nothing short of a miracle that we witnessed. So let's get started with this video from Sarah Huckabee Sanders. So firstly, here's Donald John Trump arriving at the Republican National Convention right after his assassination attempt. Let's watch this. Trump, Please welcome the next president of the United States, Donald J. Trump. Donald John Trump, look at him walking out. And he has his ear patched up. And a lot of liberals are saying, oh, that doesn't even look, yo, the, the patch is too big for his ear. Come on. Donald J. Trump just got shot and they're already making fun of him. What a complete joke. The guy right behind him, that's Secret Service. That was one of the guys who jumped up to protect Trump and Trump broke through and said, wait, wait, fight, fight, fight. <laughs> but guys, look at the whole crowd. So happy to see Donald John Trump enter the building. Tear coming down Donald Trump Jr.'s face as he thanks the Lord that God saved his father's life. We could be watching Trump's funeral right now, but instead we are celebrating that Donald John Trump is alive and he has received the official Republican nominee to be the candidate for presidency, my friends. Donald John Trump, here he is, the man, the myth, the legend. And one day, one day, just in a few short months, guys, in November, right after summer, heading into fall, we will see. Look at Tucker Carlson. Tucker Car Tucker is an amazing guy. I really hope Tucker has a spot on Trump's team. Look at Trump Jr. Look at him, giving him the thumbs up, saying, thanks. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, Dad, for being here. 
Eric Trump, Laura Trump, beautiful couple there. There's J.D. Vance, Trump's running mate, only 39 years old. A recently con uh, man, he, he converted to Catholicism just a couple of years ago in his 30s. So J.D. Vance, he actually used to be a Trump hater, but he had, a, he had an awakening. He um, turned and, for, and surrendered his life to our Lord, J.D. Vance. So I really do like this man because, you know, bef when he used to not like Trump, he wasn't a Catholic. He he had a change of heart, my friends, and I tr truly do believe that J.D. Vance is the right man. And I think Trump has had long, long talks with J.D. Vance. But look at Trump. Look at him, guys. He's ready to serve our country. He could totally just retire, travel the world, go play golf, and you know, he's, he's done it all. But no, guys. He has chosen to sacrifice his life for us. I really, really hope that he does win in 2024. I just can't imagine Joe Biden. Another four years of Joe Biden would be horrendous. And please, God, please do not allow Michelle Obama back in there. <laughs> or not back in there, but Michelle Obama to run. I mean, Barack Obama would be back in there as the first gentleman. But yeah, guys, look at Tucker, Byron, Donald John Trump, J.D. Vance, Mike Johnson, Trump Jr., Eric Trump, Lara Trump, Tiffany Trump's there too. Kelly Johnson, Mike Johnson's wife is there. And of course, our leader, Donald John Trump, the leader of the Republican Party. Trump receives thunderous welcome at RNC from thousands of people and millions all around the world are waiting for Donald John Trump to potentially come back into the White House. Look how happy Trump looks. He looks a little calm, more calm than normal. Look how awesome this is, guys. People are just so happy to see him and they start chanting USA, USA. I love what Trump, he's doing the fist pump. This, this is the new fist pump, guys, the new sign. You know what's crazy? Because you guys know what this used to mean. Remember? This used to be kind of a liberal thing. Not anymore. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Wow, and look at them starting to chant, fight, 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 like Trump stood up afterwards. Walked out on the stage. I mean, he almost looks like he's choked up. He does. With that fist, David, that fist that we saw, of course, on Saturday, just seconds. USA! That ear where there is now that bandage. That is, of course, his iconic move anyway, that fist, but he carried it through even as an assassin tried to take his life, and now tonight. But he does indeed seem more somber, more subdued, Please taking in this moment. Lot from Cedar Springs, Michigan. He seems genuinely moved by the reception inside this hall. Fight, fight, fight. fight. <laughs> wow. Now I Look at Tucker, Tucker's like moved. When he got back up with the help of the Secret Service and the instincts kicked in in that moment to hold his uh, fist in the air, uh, the blood dripping down his face. Uh, and those three words, fight, fight, We fight. love Trump. Earlier here this evening. Wow. Reacting to it each and every time, and now with Donald Trump standing before them. If you haven't gotten Trump, if, if Trump hasn't gotten your respect by now, my friends, there's no hope. <laughs> there's no hope for you. Because look at this man. He's done it all. He's done it all, my friends. He's in his 70s. He just got shot. And 24 hours later, he was on a plane to the Republican National Convention. He goes, he said, I was going to delay my trip to the RNC, but no, we need to continue on. The show must go on. Wow, my friends, how beautiful is that? And they're actually saying that this image of Trump standing up with blood on his face is worth over a billion dollars in advertising for Trump 2024, that this is the best 
possible advertisement for his campaign and he's won over the hearts of people who probably could have never been convinced before because a lot of liberals are finally saying well you know maybe trump isn't that bad after all he's a true fighter and i can respect him for that so now let's listen to sarah huckabee sanders what a powerful story to follow good evening i'm sarah huckabee sanders yeah she's beautiful and before i get started i want to say i have always been proud to stand with president trump but never have i been more proud than to stand with him right now tonight wow my friends look at trump's face Not even an assassin's bullet could stop him. <laughs> Woo God Almighty intervened because America is one nation under God and he is certainly not finished with President Trump. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Praise the Lord. In Jesus' name. Wow. Wow. The emotion, guys. Crazy. And our country is better for it. I am here tonight as America's youngest governor. The first... Whoa, really? I didn't know that. Wow. The first woman to lead the great state of Arkansas. Yes! And the best person for the job, too. And most importantly, a mom to three amazing kids. Yeah. Oh, George. Oh, yeah. God bless those children. When I was President Trump's White House press secretary, the best job. I thought it was Kaylee McKenney. Was was I? Well, I thought it was Kaylee McKenney. Got the chance to take my four-year-old son Huck to bring your kid to work day. Much <laughs> like Jill now drags Joe to bring your husband to work day. Oh! Boom! Shakalaka! Wow! briefing the president on the upcoming event in the Oval Office, all of the kids who were attending that day gathered in the Rose Garden getting ready to meet him. And we were walking out onto that beautiful, perfect colonnade. And I saw out of the corner of my eye that my son Huck was running full speed directly at the president of the United States. <laughs> gracious person he is, President Trump bent down to give him a big hug. And right in front of everyone, Huck sidestepped the president, completely ignoring him in front of everyone and ran straight into my arms. <laughs> That's a great story. You know, Melania Trump actually redesigned the Rose Garden, guys. So she was, Melania was a big piece of making the Rose Garden look beautiful. For my four-year-old son, the most powerful man in the world. Yes. Had nothing on his mom. Yeah. This is a woman, guys. But because he's the amazing man he is, President Trump didn't mind at all. After all, he's a dad to five unbelievable kids and a grandfather to ten. Wow, ten grandchildren? That's awesome. He's a leader of his own family and America. And while that story is certainly a special memory for my family, <coughs> it's 
even greater reminder why I support President Trump, not for me, not for him, but for my kids and for yours. I feel like Trump's like all of our dads. Under President Trump, America was safer. The world was safer. And it felt like the next generation would have a chance at the American dream. President Trump did the job that Kamala won't and Joe Biden simply can't. When we're honest, every American knows that we were so much better off under President Trump. <laughs> it's been like a complete 180 with Joe Biden versus Trump. Are you serious? With Trump, our country was amazing. Now with Joe Biden, what? I'm sorry, but what? So tonight I don't want to just speak about President Trump's successful policies, while there are many. I want to talk about the man that I know. When the president hired me, I was the first mom and only the third woman to ever serve as the White House press secretary. Wow. And in that role, I endured relentless attacks from the left. I was insulted as a guest at the White House Correspondents' Dinner. My family was denied service and kicked out of a restaurant. And a parent at my three-year-old son's preschool spit on my car. And in those moments, it was President Trump who defended me. And when an MSNBC host, the author of several books on empowering women, said I was unfit to be a mother, and another MSNBC host said I was vile, not even human, and that I should be choked, MSNBC again did nothing. But our president pulled me aside looked me in the eye and said, Sarah, you're smart, you're beautiful, you're tough, and they attack you because you're good at your job. Never let them stop fighting. Wow. Guys, I have chills. Thank you, Mr. President. Wow. You know, Trump is so humble. There's countless people have countless stories like that, but you would never know because Trump isn't out there bragging about it. This is just what Trump does all day, every day. Donald Trump that I know and that's the Donald J Trump I will always respect the left doesn't care about empowering women Biden and Harris can't even tell you what a woman is <laughs> about empowering themselves. but we have a president who believes in empowering every American and that our country is worth fighting for amen Comment amen, guys. For the last four years, Republican governors have been leading that fight and doing what Joe Biden refuses to do. We've deployed the National Guard to the border. We've cracked down on crime and drugs. We cut taxes to give hardworking Americans a break from Bidenflation. And we empowered parents with universal school choice across the country.
Donald Trump was the very first president in my lifetime to take a hard line against China, and I'm proud to be the first and only governor in the country to kick communist China off our farmland and out of my state. And I'm proud to be an American, where well, at least I know I'm free. And I'll proudly stand up next to you. President Trump is a leader. And he's the leader our country needs. And if ever there was a doubt, earlier this week, we saw just how tough, resilient, courageous, and daring this man is. And we can't get him back in the White House fast enough. Whoa! Finally someone said it. Finally. Wow, look at Trump's face. He's in awe. Trump, Trump, Trump. I love how the crowd just bursts out randomly. <laughs> They're all fired up on Mountain Dew. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not called to stand still in the face of great danger. You and I were put on this earth at a moment in time to charge boldly ahead. We cannot know what the future holds, but we know damn sure who holds the future in his hands. God? God? God spared President Trump from that assassin because God is not finished with him yet. Wow, guys. We are too lucky. We are too lucky. Too blessed. And he most certainly is not finished with America yet either. As our guide and President Trump back in the White House, we will show the world that America is the place where freedom reigns and liberty will never die. Yes. Trump Vance, make America great again. Ladies and gentlemen. USA! USA! She can barely get her speech done because the crowd's going crazy. Wow, look at their faces, guys. This is America. America, son. Tonight, let us not leave here just excited about a great few days. Yeah. But let us leave here energized and committed to making sure that we protect our freedom and we have the ability to pass it on to the next generation because America is the greatest country that the world has ever known and our kids and our grandkids deserve to enjoy it the way each of us did. And we will with President Trump back in the White House. Thank you so much. God bless the great state of Arkansas and the amazing United States of America. Thank you very much. Wow, guys, that was insane. That was a beautiful speech. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with a light from above. All right, guys, what an awesome, epic video from Sarah Huckabee Sanders. What a patriotic woman. Thanks for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below and stay tuned because I'm making more videos from RNC this week. Thanks for watching. Bye now.